I'm Christopher Zweig, and today on CJ at the Movies, I review some new movies starring Jason Statham, Mila Kunis, and Glenn Close, and plus we'll have a look at the new Sesame Street documentary, and today's letter is C. Let's take a look. Our first movie is a major disappointment from director Guy Ritchie called Raph of Man, which is a remake of a French film called Les Convoyers, and has no energy or depth for me to care about the story. In it, he reunites with Jason Statham as H, who gets a job transferring money in Los Angeles. The new company he works for was hijacked months ago, and now Statham takes out the latest criminals, much to the surprise of his boss and co-workers. But truth be told, he is out to take revenge on the men who murdered his son. You were in an accident. My my son. He didn't make it. I need to know killed my son. Statham does a solid job at portraying a man wanting to avenge his son, but Rafa Man goes all over the place with the characters, story, and bullets, and lacks the creativity that Richie usually offers in his films. I have great respect for these two talents, but this isn't the latest collaboration I was hoping for, so skip it. Our next movie is Four Good Days, which is based on a true story about a junkie and her mother. Mila Kunis gives her best on-screen performance since the first Bad Moms as the main junkie, and Glenn Close explodes with great intensity as her mother. She's forced to take her daughter in when the clinic schedules her an appointment to receive a medication that can prevent more drugs from entering her system. It's going to take a few days to get clean, but can the would-be recovering druggie resist the urge to use a needle? That's what we hope for. How is she? She sits around smoking, twitching, and I am there watching her like a hawk and pretending that I'm not. Almost one day down, three more to go. Kunis and Close both have the kind of chemistry I looked for and missed from Close and Amy Adams in Hillbilly Elegy. Even if we don't get the full scope or if we can guess some of its outcomes, Four Good Days is a much better film than that. It's one of the entertaining examples about druggies trying to clean themselves. Can we trust this girl to make the right choices? We hope so as we begin to watch it. The movie is never mean-spirited or negative. Instead, it uses pure realism and support to keep the audience involved. So check it out! And finally, our last movie is Street Gang, How We Got to Sesame Street, which tells the story on how the long-running educational puppet children's series was conceived and the major impacts it's had on children and their parents. The show took risks on taking on serious subjects and important messages for kids without maturing too fast, and the creators look back at the people who helped them make it possible, including the late Jim Hansen and John Stone. Joan had a brilliantly simple notion. Children were watching a tremendous amount of television. So why not see if it could educate them? I love the whole idea of taking commercial techniques and apply them to a show for kids. I was convinced that it would be impossible to do. Street Gang How We Got to Sesame Street is the best documentary to focus on children's entertainment since Won't You Be My Neighbor. Both these movies are about the joys and sadnesses of their conceptions and impacts on children of all ages as well as the adults influenced by them. Just like the show, this doc provides some important messages and strong insights, and while the little kids can watch the actual show, their parents should see this movie for its value. So check it out! Now let's recap the movies I reviewed today. Thumbs down for Jason Statham's convoluted action thriller, Wrath of Man. Thumbs up for Four Good Days with Mila Kunis and Glenn Close and excellent performances. And thumbs way up for Street Gang, the latest Sesame Street documentary that's sweet and emotional at the same time. I'm Christopher Zweig. Stay safe and I'll see you at the movies. For more amazing content, please like and subscribe to my channels. You can also read my reviews at cjatthemovies.com and listen to my podcast reviews at newhdradio.com.